In this video, I will answer a question from a recent webinar called Random Intercept and Random Slope Models. We're answering questions here because we had over 500 people live on the webinar, so we didn't have time to get through all the questions. If you miss the webinar live, this and the other questions in this video series may make more sense if you watch the webinar recording first. It's part of our free webinar series, The Craft of Statistical Analysis, and you can sign up to get the free recording handout and even the data that we ran in the example at this link listed below. Paige asks, what would be the y-intercept for the individual county's regression lines? Would that be the u2 at time zero? Okay, to answer this, let's take a look at the model itself so we know exactly which terms we're referring to. Okay, so here is the model and we can see the U1 term is the random intercept term. U2 is the random slope term. So first of all, no, it's not U2. U2 refers to the random slopes. U1 is what is describing the random intercepts. However, it's not measuring the random intercepts directly. These U1s, they're very much set up like a residual term. It's the distance between any individual county's intercept and the overall intercept for counties of that type. So since we've in included rural, we've accounted for the fact that rural and non-rural counties are different. Each U, these distances are the distances to the appropriate type of county. So since this one's a metropolitan county, which we can tell because it's the color is solid, we know that distance goes to the blue line, which is the overall line for the non-rural counties. Likewise, this orange one down here, it's a little bit hard to see, but that's a very small distance between the orange county's intercept, looks like Wilcox, and the rural county's average intercept. So that's what the U2 is actually referring for. We are not directly measuring in the model any individual county's actual intercepts. We are inferring it from the distance. 